Hello and welcome to Boyle Sports News and of course the Royal Ascot meeting is just around the corner and we're going to pick four or five races to have a look at and what a day to get underway on Tuesday. Three Group 1s, we're going to start right from the top and have a look at the St James's Palace Stakes. Is it a one horse affair? Frankel, devastating in the guinea, so impressive, led them all a merry dance in the first five furlongs. They reckon that was covered in Group 1 winning speed. So he's the one they all have to beat. We all remember that acceleration he showed as a two-year-old at Ascot. I don't think anything will beat Frankel, but a 3-1 to one on, you've got no value whatsoever. So you're looking for a little bit of each-way value in a competitive race. Dubawi Gold, he's finished second now for Messrs Hanner and Hughes in both guineas at Newmarket and the Curra. But a horse that I would just give another little chance to is Wooten Bassett. Trained by Richard Fahey, unbeaten as a two-year-old. Ran in the French Guineas, never settled because I think it was his first run of the season and poor Paul Hannigan just couldn't get the horse to settle. Stayed on very well, I think he finished fifth or sixth, but I certainly think he can fill one of those first three places in the St James's Palace. He's around about a 10 to 1 chance at the moment. Moving swiftly on to our next Group 1 contest and what a fascinating matchup it is between Goldikova and Canford Cliffs in the Queen Anne. We all love Goldikova. What a superstar she is. Freddie Head has done a remarkable job to keep this filly interested in the game. And by God, will she have some serious support at Royal Ascot on the Tuesday. But in Canford Cliffs, we've got a four-year-old colt who I feel can go right to the top in the mile division this year. It's a straight matchup. Who do you like? Camford Cliffs at 5-4? to four, Or do you want to go Goldicova at 13-8? to eight, Or maybe even throw in Cape Blanco. But I don't think he's going to trouble the top two at the market. For me, Camford Cliffs will beat Goldicova at 5-4. to four. Finally, on day one, we've got the two-year-old race. It is the Coventry Stakes, of course, over six furlongs. And what a fascinating matchup we have here as well. Power trained in Ballydoyle by Aidan O'Brien. He won at the Curra over five furlongs on Irish Guineas weekend. Stepping up to six will not prove a problem whatsoever. He's the clear favourite at seven to two, but he will not have it all his own way. We've got a couple of very interesting English horses. Mesmar is one that I was very impressed on his only win so far this year over six furlongs at Haydock on good to firm ground I think he's going to run a major major race at nine to two and finally another horse just to throw into the mix Gatepost he's won two from two already this year he's going to the Coventry with nothing to fear he's around about a six to one chance make up your own mind who you like in the Coventry I'm going to go against the favourite and I'm going to side with Mesmar at nine to two